This is absolutely ridiculous. I can't even extract with a pack of nails. I'm running out of rubles. I can't. I'm just gonna cry. I die every time. I don't know the maps. I don't know where the extraction points are. <laughs> So you're having some trouble in the world of Tarkov. Well, I'm here to help. I'm going to give you five tips to help you get better at Tarkov every raid you run. This game wasn't intended to be easy. Nikita definitely loves you suffering. It's not a game for everybody. It's going to make you cry a little bit. It's going to piss you off. You're going to yell and scream and yell at everybody you play with. You'll probably shoot your friends too. And you're probably doing it right now. That's why you're watching this video. So sit back and relax. And let's try to get five different things covered. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't like that. Are you kidding me? How does he go find me? Run all the way around the map, one tap me. What the is this game? That's like the third time he's done that. I ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. Don't forget, guys, to check me out on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Now, everyone always says that you need to learn a map first. But what does that even mean? Well, if you want to play Tarkov, go ahead and learn a map. But what does that mean? What does that mean? Personally, what helped me get good at this game? Learn how to shoot people. Not run into, like, a group of five PMCs at the same time. Routes. Played multiple maps at the same time. I don't stick to just one map like everyone says. Personally, I loved Interchange and Customs because those are two completely different maps. One is scary as hell, and you can have little rats hiding, gobbling up loot in every corner in Interchange. Or you can go to Customs, avoid people, kind of learn the map a little bit, shoot some scabs, and get in and out. I kind of like that, especially for new people, especially when I'm taking them doing quests. One thing that everyone keeps telling me is how irritated they get with the game and how they're not extracting. Routes. Learn two maps at the same time, bounce back and forth, start trying to learn routes. So when you spawn in in one place on a map, know where you're gonna head on that map. Granted, you may be doing a quest so you got no choice where you're spawning and you're gonna go in that one way and that's the only way you got. But once you get to a point where you wanna do PVP or learn to get items only, you'll have routes you want to take. And once you have that route down, you'll have an idea where players are going to come from for the same loot you want. That makes you a little bit more aware of your surroundings. It makes it so much easier to play Tarkov. Because if you're just wandering around waiting and listening for people, you may not ever win a fight because you don't know where people are coming from. Learning where everything is and the routes you should take make you so much better of a player. It really does. Now, number two, I think this one's a little bit more at home for people who really struggle at this game, who feel like they could go in kitted, not get a single kill, just get trashed by a chad or even a rat somewhere. Learning the guns and what you can and can't do with that gun is huge. huge. My suggestion, pick a couple guns and get comfortable with them. Vitnaz, even a foul, an MPX, <laughs> yeah, boy. and a shotgun are good ideas. All of those you can put great ammo in now that the shotgun had a massive buff and be able to take people out. The best part about the Vitnaz is the fact that that gun is fully automatic. You can put Luger, which I suggest for being super budget and go for people's legs. You can... Legged! You can actually get it for a trade. It's prop or level one. For five T-plugs. You don't even have to buy it from him. That's level one. Level two, you can buy it outright from him for 20,000 rubles. Just 20,000 rubles. You have a 9 millimeter platform AK. An MPX, same thing. The MPX that you get from Raiders that you can find on the market for only 50 to 60,000 with mods. Sometimes it's a little bit higher at 75k, depending on the way the market is at the time. The foul is even better. There's so many trades right now from Mechanic. Granted, one of them is a level four for the Nixor lenses, but you can't go wrong with M80s. M80s aren't even that expensive. The best part about the shotgun though is the new 590. You can get that for 30,000 rubles from Jaeger. That annoying guy that nobody likes doing quests for. You can run Flechette in there or 8.5 Magnum and one tap people. You aim for that thorax, you're gonna hit face. Flechette's amazing. You can shred level five armor like nobody's business. You can pop people in the face with it too on accident. Because that spread is so nice and tight. Nice. 
No pun intended. So number three, getting some money, getting some loot, and getting out. It's not really about just trying to get better at a game, get better at guns, to save money and have budget loadouts. I think number three is important for people who struggle to make money in Tarkov. One of the maps that I'm going to suggest because I play it the most is Interchange. Interchange has so many different places on the map where you can just hit stashes and make so much money without even entering the mall. Now that stashes have been buffed, you can now walk around and find in these stashes everything from X-Fills to Vulcan helmets. I found two X-Fills on my last stream in boxes. It's crazy. And the other thing that's really cool about Interchange that you can't do on some of the other maps, you can use the SR21 key on the outside shipping container. That's amazing. That is a, a treasure trove of items when the power is turned on. And you don't even have to go inside the mall. This is something I suggest to a lot of people who are really struggling on Tarkov to make money. Sure, you can scav around and get a couple guns, but really not making money. Because you usually get in a raid with 10, 15 minutes left and you have to rush somewhere and hope there's PMCs dead. Otherwise, you get into a raid at the beginning as a scav and you get shot by a juice boy who just spawned in two behind you. So I definitely recommend Interchange because of the amount of stashes on the outer rim of the map and little scavs you can pick off to get some more loot. And then once power's turned on, take that 21 key card, swipe it, go in that shipping container and loot up and go home and reset. Then you have a kit. Don't be afraid to do it. I know some people will trash you for doing that, but who cares? This is your game, your experience. This is just a suggestion on a way to earn money if you're struggling in Tarkov. So a lot of people keep saying to learn the game, to just scab. Just use your scab. Use your scab. How do I learn the game? What is your scab? But what does that even mean? Okay, I have this free character. But what am I supposed to do? Scaving, the number one thing you need to learn how to do with a scav is to learn how to be aggressive. Know when to make a play and when to back off. That's the best part of a scav. You have a free character to learn a different play style. You don't have to just go in, loot around like a little rat, or wait for a little player in a corner. I think this is your chance to learn a different play style. You can learn to be aggressive when normally you won't because you have a little bit of gear fear still. That's something that's huge. Gear fear causes a lot of problems for people who struggle in this game. As a scav, you don't think in your mind that you even care about the gear most of the time. If you can translate that over, that would be huge. Run around and try to engage fights that you wouldn't normally engage. And remember, you don't have great armor, so you're gonna try to be more creative automatically. You need to learn to go into areas you wouldn't normally go into as a PMC if your gear fear is slowing you down. These are the opportunities that people aren't taking with their scav. People just tell them, go in, no scav, go run around. That doesn't teach anybody anything. I don't think that's helping anybody get better. People come into my stream all the time and ask for tips. That's my number one tip for people who are struggling. Using your scav to learn how to play the game. Screw it. Go crazy. So the last tip. This could be way out there. There could be so many ways I'm going to go with this, but budget kits. Everyone asks me if this is good, if that's good. Should I run this? Should I be running this? Where should I do this? Where should I do that? I think this is something everyone wants to hear from every streamer, every YouTuber, everybody of what is a budget kit to them. For me, the foul or a Vitnaz. Those are my two. Run a cheap kit like this at nighttime 6b3tm this would give you a rig and armor in one of course getting the cheapest night vision you can afford allows you to go at night in places like interchange you can run around that map on the outside still have a decent kit to protect you and a gun that can at least plink somebody or take them out if they get close by legging them i can't stress it enough learning how to go at night or finding and saving night vision will be huge for you Everyone always says that level 3 armor is useless, especially late into a wipe. When you're struggling, having at least armor to survive fights is more important than trying to chat. They're telling that to people who are running around trying to PvP, and I get it. If you're running around trying to PvP, you will need more than just a level 3 floral armor. This kit, personally, is one of my favorite budget kits for people who are struggling. This gun, the Vitnaz itself, and the only thing you need to add to it is the EKP. The Cobra EKP-802 Reflex Sight. It will attach right on with no other attachments needed. Sight is a standalone sight. Touched almost all the AKs in the game. This kit, though, you can get from traders at level 1 or 2. The other guns that I think are replacements that can be interchanged in this situation is mechanic level 2. You can get an MP5 with a silencer. 
for Cyclone, a Magnet, and a Nixor lens. This is a pretty good deal. If you don't have money, but you're able to get in and out of raid with stuff, this is stuff that you can put in your put. to make sure you get out and use for trades. Because sometimes you think, well, what can I put in my container? I think these are some of the items. I always put Nixors in my container because they're such good, valuable trades. Once you get to high mechanic, you can get Foul with a DT Hybrid Silencer. Four grip, good stock for four Nixors. You can actually sell the DT Silencer back for 48,000 rubles right now, currently. Those are my two, interchangeably with a P MPX for a Vitnaz, truthfully. But a Vitnaz is very cheap. What? <laughs> Chicky bricky. Who are really having sh having bro irish i'm so fucking stupid bro <laughs> you could probably make a blooper reel at the end of this this is so bad dude i don't even know where i was <laughs> god damn it Fuck. hold on go crazy just not like me because i'm super crazy and i have problems this is something that I really suggest doing for people who are struggling to make money on Interchange. <laughs> or in Tarkov. No! Oh, oh. This is really something I suggest for people to do. My brain just farted. <laughs> the best part of a scav isn't... Oh my god, I'm itching myself. I'm itching. God damn it. Oh, my hair's a mess, dude. Hot hair. Woo! Okay.